Hey guys, here's the first episode of a series of three videos in which we're going to explore the guitar synthesizer effect from Boss YesY200. This episode, we'll see how to create a sound from scratch. Be prepared to discover new territory. Hey guys, I'm really happy to welcome you in this Sonic Quest. Yes? We're talking about guitar synthesizer here. It's more than an effect pedal. You can see it as an instrument by itself. This is the initial sound. No effect, just one oscillator. And this is a sound that I created. And what you just heard, it's all the SY300. Okay, let's check this machine. Okay, you press on synth effect. And here you can see the architecture of your sound. You have your three oscillators here, the oscillator routing, the four effects. You have your oscillator mixer. This is the true return jack. It lets you connect an external effect there and add the direct sound of your guitar. This is a sub out. You can connect it to an external, like uh, monitor speakers or to another amp, and you can place it everywhere you want, like this. It's really cool. And you have your main, the patch level, and the tempo. It, this tempo can be as well sync via MIDI, to an external device. And here, you have the channel A and channel B. And you can decide which channel your oscillators are going. I decided that oscillator number one goes on channel A and oscillator two and three go on channel B. At the beginning, the three oscillators were going on channel A, like this. So you can see that the true oscillators are going to channel A, and I change it like that. I can decide as well how to pan those two channels. I'm playing in stereo with two amps, so I will send channel A in my amp number one and channel B to my amp number two. You go on oscillator mixer, and here you have the level of your two channels, the balance, and here you can see channel A is pan hard left and channel B pan hard right. You can place your effects everywhere you want, like this. It's really cool. I want two effects per channel and set it up before the oscillator mixer. Why? Because if I want to play only with my oscillator number two and three that are going on my end number two, if my reverb is after the oscillator mixer, like this, I will hear the FX return of my reverb on my end number one, even if my oscillator number one is off, like this. Listen to that. You're just hearing my amp number one. And if I put back the reverb before the oscillator mixer, like this, I don't hear any sound, so the two channels are independent. 
there are so many functions and parameters. We don't have the time to go through all of this. And at the same time, you have many videos available for you explaining all this. Me, I will show you how I'm working with this machine and I will show you the settings of some of my sounds. On my oscillator number one, I use a sine wave. And the oscillator for you to understand is the thing that is gonna generate the sound. This is my setting. I used a low pass filter because I want to cut the high frequency of my sound. Like this. This is the amplitude section. I used an LFO. LFO is a low frequency oscillator, square wave. The speed of the LFO is locked to the tempo of the SY300, a quarter note. And I'm modulating with the LFO the filter cutoff frequency and the amplitude volume. I don't use a sequencer. After that, on my channel A, put the compressor, those settings, and a reverb. Listen to this sound, and the movement you're gonna hear comes from the LFO. On my oscillator number two, I use a saw wave and the pitch is one octave below, minus 12. In this page, you can sing the oscillator number two with the oscillator number one. This is the ring modulator. I use a band pass filter that will isolate a specific range of frequency. This is my setting. I don't use any LFOs or sequencer. On my oscillator number three, I use a sine wave. I use a low pass filter. And you can see here, I use the slow attack, so the sound will fade in like this. I don't use any LFOs or sequencer. And after the oscillator number two and three, on channel B, I use an overdrive, those settings. A daily reverb. So listen to this sound. Okay, now we're gonna listen to both amp. Hope you enjoyed this first episode of how to create a sound from scratch with the SOI 200. Make sure to watch the second one 
we're going to see how to use the internal waves of the SOI 300 to cyclically modulate parameters of your sound. Until then, make sure to subscribe to my band's YouTube channel for more crazy stuff.